From eternity to eternity you remain. You alone are God seated on the throne. Unshakable, unmovable, and unchangeable. Yesterday you are, today you are, and forevermore you are. You are God, you are God, you are God, you are God. You are God, you are God, you are God, you are God. You are the 
the great I am and you are everything we could ever need. You are the answer to every problem and the answer to every prayer. You are the solution to every problem. You are the rock of ages. You are the lily of the valleys. You are the bright morning star. Oh, Father, when you speak, the earth trembles. When you speak, nature responds. When you speak, we have no other choice but to bow down. At your name and at the sound of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. When we mention your name and when you speak, we have no choice but to react. For you are God and you are God. You are God before the foundations of the earth. And you are still God today. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. We worship you, we worship you, oh God. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Yeah, we worship you, we worship you, oh God. Here's our worship, here's our worship, here's our worship. Here's our sacrifice this morning. Nenanda kadoso monta la basita. Reda makido bosonta la bayanta la bosa. Take all our worship, Almighty God, of our seat and of our yanta. Take all the glory and honor, Mandan of our seat, Kadassaya. Rita Kadassa and Talanta of us. Manda Kidos, We thank you for restoration. We thank you for healing. We thank you for revival. We thank you, Almighty God, for life. We thank you, Almighty God, for lives that are being transformed. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives today. We thank you for what your word is going to do in our lives, oh God. We thank you for deliverance and we thank you for breakthroughs. We thank you for chains that are breaking. And we thank you for walls that are breaking down. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We can feel you moving, oh God. We can feel you working in our lives. We can see you doing it, almighty God. We hear a sound, almighty God. We hear a sound of abundance, of mighty Father. Thank you, heavenly God. We thank you, Jesus. Governance, 
once again in your words, O oh God. We seek you, O oh Lord, the source of our life, the water that when we are thirsty, the food when we are hungry. O oh Lord, we search for you this morning. We search for you, we search for you, O oh Father. And in our worship, we pray that we find you, O oh Lord. In our praise, we pray that we find you, O oh Jesus. We pray that we find you, O oh Jehovah. We pray that you meet us, O oh Lord. And that you do not turn your face away from us. That you do not turn your back against us, O oh Lord. We need you, O oh Spirit of the living God. We need you, creator of the heavens and the earth. We need you, O oh Lord. We need you. We come here because we seek you, O oh Father. Sifuna we na Thank you. 
And we believe, Lord, that through the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. In the matchless name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the lives that have been changed, the lives that have been transformed through the power of your presence and through the power of your word. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we bless your name, Adonai, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you and we thank you and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, wherever you are watching us from. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning in the name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. Uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. We just want to take this time and opportunity to welcome you all, wherever you are watching us from. Uh, we, we greet you in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth and I greet you together um, with the whole crew we thank God for having you um, this morning in Jesus mighty name uh, 
and it is always a blessing uh, to be ministering to the people of God and we thank um, you Church of God wherever you are in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. Uh, last week we were uh, doing part number two of prayer uh, of which we had to um, cut the sermon due to um, power failure but we bless the Lord that this morning we are continuing in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth and we are reading in the book of Mark chapter number 5 Mark chapter number 5 um, verse number 21 Jesus went back across to the other side of the lake there at the lakeside, a large crowd gathered around him. Jairus, an official of the local synagogue, arrived and when he saw Jesus, he threw himself down at his feet and begged him earnestly, my little daughter is very sick. Please come and place your hands on her so that she will get well and leave. Jesus started off with him. So many people were going along with Jesus that they were crowding him from every side. There was a woman who had suffered terribly from severe bleeding for 12 years. Even though she had been treated by so many doctors, she had spent all her money. But instead of getting better, she got worse. All the time. She had heard about Jesus. So she came in the crowd behind him. Saying to herself. If I just touch his clothes. I will get well. So she touched, so she touched his cloak. And her bleeding stopped at once. And she. Sorry. And she had the feeling inside herself. That she was healed of her trouble. At once Jesus knew that power had gone out of him. So he turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? His disciples answered, you see how people are crowding you? Why do you ask who touched you? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. The woman realized what had happened to her. So she came trembling with fear, knelt at his feet and told him the whole truth. Jesus said to her, my daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your trouble. While Jesus was saying this, some messengers came from Jairus' house and told him, your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher any longer? Jesus paid no attention to what they said, but told him, don't be afraid, only believe. Then he did not let anyone else go on with him except Peter and James and his brother John. They arrived at Jairus' house when Jesus saw the confusion and heard all the loud crying and wailing. He went in and said to them, why all this confusion? Why are you crying? The child is not dead. She's only sleeping. They started making fun of him. So he put them all out. Took the child's father and mother and his three disciples. And went into the room where the child was lying. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talita kum. Which, mean, which means, little girl, I tell you to get up. She got up at once and started walking around. She was 12 years old. When this happened, they were completely amazed. But Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone and said, give her something to eat. Father, we thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord. Now, children of God, wherever you are watching us from, 
Um, we bless the Lord for the reading of his word in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. And we believe that the power of the word is able to transform and to change the lives of the people of God in Jesus' mighty name. We said uh, for the past weeks or, or a week before last, we said that prayer is the language that we are using to communicate with the Father. And we, when we study the word, we believe that, the, that God is speaking back to us. And we believe that through prayer, everything that we ask from the Father is, 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 is granted to us. Because Jesus says, whatever we are going to ask from the Father, we must therefore believe that we have already received, even before we can see them with our naked eyes. Why? For we do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. And the God that we serve is the God that listens to prayers and he answers prayers. God pays attention whenever we pray. Whenever we cry unto him, he pays attention. Whenever we, 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 we are saying, Lord, in the name of Jesus, he pays attention. Why? Because we are the children of the Most High God. We know who we are. We know that we are the children of the Most High God. The Bible says, Jesus says to them, he says, uh, he, he, he says, We know that we, we know our Father and he knows us. And therefore, whenever we pray, everything that we are asking from him he is able to supply all our needs according to the riches that are in his glory and according to the power that worketh in us so child of god i encourage you to be prayerful wherever you are in these trying times we need people who will pray unto the Father. The only way in which we are going to survive in these trying times is when we, we, is when we can pray. So I challenge every woman, every man, every sister, every brother, every child of God, wherever you are, to be prayerful in Jesus' mighty name. Prayer makes you grow in the Lord. Prayer makes you strong in the Lord. You are able to stand before the enemy when you are able to bow before your God. You are able to stand before troubles and trials and tribulations when you are able to bow before your God. So as a child of God, you must be prayerful in the name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. Jesus says in John 16, 24, he says, we have not asked. And he says, if you can ask anything in my name, the Father will give it unto you. Why? Because we are the children of the Most High God. Now we are seeing Jairus here. The Bible says, Jesus, after he had arrived on the other side of the lake, the Bible says, a large crowd gathered on him. And Jairus, an official of the local synagogue, the Bible says, when he saw Jesus, he then threw himself down at his feet. This is powerful. When he saw Jesus, he worshipped him. When he saw Jesus, he bowed down before him. What makes us or what enables us to bow before Jesus is our ability to see him even in trying times. What encourages us or what pushes us to bow before him even in these trying times is our ability to see him. Remember, you do not need naked eyes to see him. You don't need physical eyes to see him. For the Bible says, no eye have seen it, no ear has had it, neither has it entered the heart of man. But these things are revealed to are revealed to us through the power of the spirit of God so 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 we don't need physical eyes to see him because we do not walk by sight but we walk by faith so if you can see him you can bow before him if you can see him you can worship him if you can see him you can worship him so so Jairus saw him right in the midst of the crowd he managed to see him he did not miss him right in the midst of the last crowd Jairus 
saw him i want to ask you this question do you see him when you are afflicted do you see him when you are sick do you see him when you are challenged if you can see him you can surely bow down before him what makes us to say lord in the name of jesus is our ability to see him even when things are not going right in our own lives do not allow situations to to to, to close or or to shut your spirit Spiritual, your spiritual eyes don't allow any situation to turn you blind don't allow any sickness to make you go blind but you must be able to see him in whatever situation you are in in the name of jesus this guy had left her his his sick daughter at home but he still managed to see jesus this guy had a had a painful situation that he had left at home but even in that situation he still managed to see jesus oh my gosh if he did not see jesus he was not going to be able to bow down before him because he cannot bow down before someone whom you cannot see what makes us to worship him is our ability to see him when things are not going right even when things are going right the Bible says on the Mount of Transfiguration when Jesus was there with his few disciples the Bible says when they saw Moses, Elijah together with Jesus, Peter said Master, I can build a house, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah and the Bible says after a while they saw no one but Jesus they saw no one but Jesus I challenge you this morning in Jesus mighty name to be able to see him in Jesus mighty name to be able to see him Paul makes a prayer for us and he says I pray that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened the other version says I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened it is my prayer for you this morning may the Lord may God open the eyes of your spirit so that you may see him even when things are difficult in your life if only i can see him i can only know that everything is gonna be all right he must because right in the midst of the crowd he saw jesus right in the midst of the instead of seeing people he saw jesus because he knew that the power of god and the solution to his problem was not among what was not with the people who were with jesus but it was with jesus himself at times you see many people and you fail to see him at times you pay attention to many people and you fail to see the lord but jairus saw jesus right in the midst of the crowd and the bible says when he saw him he then threw himself on the ground and he began to worship him and he began to worship him after worshiping him then he made a request after worshiping him, he made a request and he said, Lord, my daughter is dying at home. My daughter is dying at home. You see, this teaches us something. Jairus, Jairus, his situation was, was worse. His situation was painful. The, the, his daughter was just about to die. But before he made a request, he understood that I've got to worship him first. I've got to acknowledge his presence first. I've got to acknowledge who he is first. I've got to tell him how great he is first. Because he's greater than my situation. Situation is greater than what I'm going through. I don't just have to jump and go and ask him before I worship him. I have to worship him first. That is why the model of prayer, according to Matthew 6, Jesus teaches us and he says, When you pray, just say, Oh my gosh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Before you can make a request, you have to worship him first. And Lama uh, Bradley, because worship gives you access to to the presence of the most high God. It gives you access and it takes you to a dimension 
position of, of, of being able to ask. So as a child of God, whenever you pray, before you ask, let to worship him. The Bible says he seeketh those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. And after worshiping, Jairus told him and he said, Master, my daughter is dying at home. My daughter is sick at home. And the Bible says, Jesus went with him right away. Now, now here's the problem. And the crowd kept on following Jesus. When the crowd followed Jesus, the woman was amongst the crowd who had an issue of blood for 12 years. And the Bible says he, she had spent all her money to physicians, but her situation, instead of becoming better, it became worse and worse and worse. She had spent all her money. Why? Let me tell you something, child of God. My father always says this. There are things that money can buy, but there are things that money cannot buy. Money can buy you can buy you a a, 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 a a grocery but it cannot buy you appetite to eat that food money can can buy you a mansion but money cannot buy you comfort to live in that mansion money can get you a beautiful man or a beautiful woman but money cannot buy you love so the money that she had could not buy her health the money that she had could not buy her healing because healing comes from the Lord health comes from the Lord joy comes from the Lord whatever you need cometh from the Lord everything that we need comes from the Lord I want you to believe God with me this morning in Jesus mighty name for his supernatural provision in the name of Jesus because everything that we need it comes from the Lord and the Bible says this woman went to Jesus and because she was afraid that people would see her the Bible says that she she nailed down she began to crawl only to touch the hem of the command of Jesus the tip of the command of Jesus she bowed down and then she touched the hem of the garment and the Bible says and the bleeding stopped immediately the other version says the fountain of the blood began to stop began to dry up immediately and that made Jesus to look around to stop walking remember he was walking with Jairus to Jairus house to go and heal the daughter of Jairus but the Bible says immediately he stopped and then he had to look around and ask them and he said who touched me and disciples were amazed at the question that they began to ask him Jesus what do you mean because there are so many of us who are pressing and throwing at you what do you mean by saying who touched you and then Jesus Jesus said, because power has gone out of me. I said this, if you were, if you were Jairus, if you were Jairus, hearing the man whom you only believe and know that he's only the source and of your help. Hearing him, you are believing that this man is going to heal your daughter. And here you hear him making an announcement that he say, when he says power has gone out of him. What, how are you going to feel? Knowing that you were, you were having a, a situation that needed him. And here you hear him making an announcement saying power has gone out of him. I believe Jairus was more frustrated. I believe Jairus panicked more. I believe Jairus stressed. I believe depression hit him immediately because of hearing Jesus saying power has gone out of him. Not only that, he sees Jesus stopping and giving the attention to the woman. While Jairus, while Jairus is having a situation at home that needed an immediate attention of Jesus. Here is Jesus Jesus conversing with the woman. Jairus is stressing more and more and more and more. He's becoming more worried. He panics more. And, and the Bible says while Jesus was busy talking with the woman, a messenger came from the house of Jairus saying to Jairus, Jairus, why do you bother master anymore? Because your daughter is now dead. We are only waiting for you as the father to come and give us the burial date. Alama Satama and Jairus became more worried and the Bible says Jesus looked at him and he says Jairus don't be afraid the Bible says Jesus paid no attention to the messengers but he looked at 
childhoods. And he said, childhoods, don't be afraid. I want you to get this. He paid no attention to those who were giving the message. But he looked at childhoods. He paid no attention to the people who were talking. But he looked at childhoods. Has, has anybody told you that your situation was worse? Jesus is paying no attention to them. But he's paying attention to you. Did anyone tell you that your situation is beyond repair? Jesus is paying no attention to them. But he's paying attention to you. Is there a doctor who declared that you are having a situation in your blood or in, or in your system that is beyond repair? Jesus pays no attention to that. He's paying attention to you. And then he says to you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I wish I can preach like I feel it in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus is paying no attention to everybody who's speaking negative things on your life. Jesus pays no attention to everyone who tells you bad news. He pays no attention to such. But he's giving you the attention. And when he gives you the attention, he opens his mouth to say, don't be afraid. Jairus was worried and Jesus said don't worry Jairus the Bible says in the book of Philippians 6 Paul says be anxious for nothing don't worry about anything but tell it to God through prayer and thanksgiving I wish I can tell somebody here don't worry it looks like things are falling apart don't worry it looks like your situation is getting worse don't worry it looks like things are falling apart don't worry it looks like your peace is fading away don't worry but keep the faith keep on believing and Jesus said to Jairus only believe only believe my brother my sister my daughter my son wherever you are keep on believing it's January I know and what makes it worse is we are in the midst of COVID I know but I'm here to tell you only believe keep on believing stop worrying keep on believing trust God for a major breakthrough believe God for a major miracle your 2021 will never be the same as 2020. I decree and I declare don't worry. Don't be scared. But only believe. Only believe. And the Bible says after that, after, after he had said that to Jairus, he said to Jairus, let us go now. And then he took his three disciples and then the whole crowd, he told them to stay behind. He told them not to go with him he told them not to go with him listen to this child of God at first before the woman interrupted the process the crowd was following Jesus to Jairus house now this time the woman is healed and the daughter is dead and Jesus is now telling the crowd stop following me where I am going you are no longer needed where I am going you are not needed we don't need the crowns. You see, child of God, there are miracles, actually greater miracles, don't need the presence of many people around you. And, uh, maybe you are, you are now worried that it's like so many people are, are leaving you. It's like your, 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 your relationships are with people people have been broken. It's like people are disappearing and you don't know what you have done. Stop asking yourself stop worrying you have not done anything the Lord is taking you to the dimension of the greatest miracle that you have been waiting for greatest miracles and greater things are born not in public they are born not in the presence of men they are born in private it has to be you and only the few around you who are with you for Nyambel who are with you for real you are Malakama I feel the presence 
of my father right now in Jesus name stop trying to explain to people stop trying to explain yourself stop trying to understand why things are happening stop trying to he might come and seek for clarity he might when the Lord wants you and your presence alone when the Lord wants your attention he cuts some people away from you this remind me of Abraham when he was taking Isaac to the mountain to offer him as a sacrifice the Bible says when they were just about to arrive he looked at his servants and then he said to them I and my son have to go and worship the Lord you must now go back you are only good for where I was for where I came from and for where I am right now but you are not going to be good for where I am going and at times when the Lord is cutting and pruning your cycle stop complaining when the Lord is decreasing your cycle stop complaining it's because you've been making a prayer of the greatest miracle of a huge miracle now it's time for that miracle to be born hence he's cutting many away from you when he arrived at the house of Jairus he saw people crying Crying. he saw people weeping and then he asked them why do you cause such a commotion why do you cause such a confusion stop crying the other version says it says they laughed at him when he told them that the daughter was not dead but she was sleeping they laughed at him when he spoke something good they laughed at her. have you ever been in that situation where you find yourself speaking positive things and speaking life and people are now thinking you are crazy and people are now thinking you are out of your mind and people are now thinking you have lost your mind only because you are saying something that is contrary to the situation ah! Jesus told them the daughter is not dead but the daughter is still sleeping I came here this morning as I'm about to close to prophesy to somebody in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth your miracle is coming in the name of Jesus Christ your finances are not dead your businesses are not dead your marriage is not dead your peace is not dead they are just sleeping and they are just to be they are just about to be raised by the power of the most high God I believe I believe I'm about to close I believe Jairus believed but he kept on having a question in himself though he believed a question to say he kept on asking I believe it is must it is just it is just me I'm trying to to, to, to myself in the shoes of Jairus I believe he had this question in his spirit how is he going to raise my daughter if he if he told us that power has gone out of him I believe he, he, he kept on asking himself that though he took his word when he said only believe but I believe right because we are humans you know I believe he kept on asking himself I understand Lord what you are saying but how are you gonna do it how are you gonna raise my daughter how are you gonna how are you gonna help me now that he don't now that power has gone out of you and when Jesus arrived after he had told them that the daughter is sleeping the Bible says he took with him in the room him and Jairus parents it was him Jairus and the parents in the room and the dead girl and the dead girl Hanabasha. the situation of Jairus was greater than the situation of the woman the situation of the woman needed power but the situation of Jairus needed glory I am a because the Bible says for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory glory is the highest dimension of the presence of God glory is the highest dimension the situation of Jairus needed no power but it needed the glory of God listen to me the Bible says Jesus told one of the sisters of Lazarus when Lazarus was dead he told her that listen listen to you stop worrying for today you are just about to see the glory of God the lady was worried and she said to Jesus if you had been here my brother would not have died yes 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 but Jesus told her don't worry 
Mary, he will rise again. And the lady said to Jesus, I know that time cometh where all the dead are going to rise. And Jesus said, you still don't understand. I don't have the resurrection. I am the resurrection and the life. Because I don't give on the basis of what I have. But I give on the basis of who I am. And then he said to her, you are just about to see the glory of God. Lazarus was raised by the glory of God. And so now the daughter of Jairus needed the glory of God and Jesus said to her Talita Kumi that was the dimension of the glory and the Bible says and the girl rose but only that but the Bible says, that, but the Bible says she kept and she started walking around she started walking around as I'm closing I am prophesying your miracle needs the glory of God keep on believing and keep on praying things are going to happen Jairus prayed and his prayer request was challenged listen to me greater prayer request ought to be challenged every faith has to be challenged every prayer request has to be challenged at times you are making a request and you, you and, 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 and all of a sudden it looks like everything you have asked God for it's not going to happen because of what is happening all of a sudden around you but let me tell you every great prayer request has to be challenged but finally he will do it I'm telling you he will do it he will do it hang on in there Keep on believing in the name of Jesus. Hear about Shaddai. Oh. Reba Baba Shaddai. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. And he said, Talita Kumi. I hear this word for somebody. Talita Kumi. Talita Kumi. What is the name of your miracle? Talita Kumi. It is simply to say, daughter, arise. I hear his word raising from the dead everything that was dying in your life. I hear his word raising from the dead everything, everything that was dead in your life. Shandalababasada. The glory of God is here. The glory of God is just about to be revealed right now in your situation. Wherever you are, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Mando Bobokosa. Ziando Bobokosita Bayan. Riba Kosada Babaya. He will do it. And he's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. For now, not tomorrow, not next year. Now, faith. Shandala Bahada. He's doing it right now. He's healing you right now. He's healing your bank account right now. He's, he's, he's unlocking all your finances right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In that every appointment letter that you have been waiting for. They have been signed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Breakthroughs are coming your way. Shandala Baba Kasar. You will prosper even in these difficult times. You will make it even in these difficult times. You will prosper even in these difficult times. I say you will live even in these difficult times. You will not die but you will live. Prophet Ali Khulala said Retro Peel. Onamata Zingana Retro Peel. Onamata Zingana Akashano Jina Retro Peel. If you are watching right now And you know that you have not accepted Jesus As your Lord and Savior We want to give you this opportunity We want to give you this opportunity The Bible says For man believes in his heart And confesses with his own mouth that Jesus is Lord, then he is saved. Yes, give your life unto Jesus. Give your life unto Jesus. If you are ready to do so,
Please follow me with these words as we pray the prayer of salvation. Lord Jesus, I thank you for granting me this opportunity. I open my heart and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Dwell in me. Write my name in the book of life. Forgive my sins. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I am now born again. My sins are forgiven. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus and I thank you for all the lives that have been impacted through the power of your presence. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Lord. All the glory belongs unto thee. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for everyone who is sick, everyone who is experiencing closed doors. Father God, I pray miracles. I release miracles and breakthroughs and healings. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much for watching. And please join us next week. We love you. And we love you. And we love you. Please take the numbers on the screen. Numbers are going to appear immediately when we are done. Take the numbers on the screen and give, and give us your testimony. Or you can leave it in the comments. Or you can inbox us if you have a prayer request. We love you and we see you. We are going to see you next week. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.